we're going to go through a real life scenario here. And the problem that asks us, these are sequences, and the chart below shows the cost of renting out a banquet hall for a party. And this the cost of this venue is um, predicated on the number of people that attend. The more people that attend, the more that this banquet hall costs. Okay, and it says your school booked the banquet hall for 85 people. How much did your school pay for this banquet hall? So we have to look at this one, and the first thing we have to determine is this one an arithmetic or a geometric sequence. And the way we tell the difference is if it's a geometric sequence, it'll be multiplied by some common factor. If it's arithmetic, then it will be added, some common factor will be added to it every time. And if we look here between 1,038 and 1,047, that's 9. And between 1,047 and 1,056, that's 9. So we have a common um, amount, a common difference is what they call it, and a common amount that's being added every time. It looks like every person that shows up, they're going to charge nine more dollars than the previous person. Okay, so this one is an arithmetic sequence. Okay, so now we bring in our formula for arithmetic sequences, and here is just our generic formula. Now what we're going to do is start plugging in what we know. Well, we don't know a lot. We don't know what the first term of the sequence is. That would be really nice, and we just plug in an 85 for the end, and we're done. But we do know what the 33rd term is. The 33rd term is 1,038. So with that knowledge, what we can do is start plugging in A of N. We know A of N is going to be uh, 1,038. This would be A of 33 here. So we'll plug that in here, and the difference is going to be 9. We plug in the 1,038. That's our A of N. This is 33. This is the 33rd term, which means for our N, that's going to be 33. We just plug that in here. Difference of 9, that means between uh, 1,038 and 1,047, there are 9 uh, units in between these. In this, in this case, it's dollars, so it would be $9 difference. Okay, so now what we're going to do is simplify this one. It sounds a little bit weird, but we're actually going to solve it for A of 1. Once we know A of 1, it's going to be very easy to plug in this 85. Okay, so we're just going to simplify this. 32, uh, 33 minus 1 is 32. We're still trying to solve for A of 1, trying to find the first term in this sequence. So 32 times 9 is 288. In order to get A of 1 all by itself, we subtract 288 from both sides. That gives me 750. So just to rent the banquet hall and have one person attend is basically what they're saying. It costs $750. And that's normally your first person costs a lot because you're actually renting the banquet hall. And then after that, it's just an incremental charge. Well, that helps us because now that we know A of 1, we can easily find uh, our formula. And our formula for this one, our difference is 9. A of 1 is 750. Now, going back up here to this problem, we're asked to find how much it costs for 85 people. In other words, what's the 85th term in this sequence? So now all I'm going to do is plug in 85 right here for n and right over here for n. I plug it in both places, uh, and I don't know what a of 85 is. That's what I'm trying to find out, and that's what we're going to find out as we do this process. I've got 85 minus 1 is just plain old 84. 84 times 9 should give me 756. Now I have 750 plus 756 which would give me a grand total of 1506. And uh, technically speaking, it is dollars. You could have a dollar sign there. Whenever you type this one into the computer online, we ask for no, um, no labels at all. So just 1506 would be perfect for us.